Hello guys, Zuljin here and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Indoors. I'm so happy to have you join me today. Today we are taking a look at this cool bedroom design. I see a lot of blue worked into this design and I originally wanted to go with a blue bedroom, but I wanted not as much color. A lot of people accuse me of not <laughs> not it, not liking color at all. And I actually do love color. I just love the balance of colors and I think this is going to be a perfect design to start off bedrooms with so I love the fact that there's a centerpiece on the wall it's a little bit of a divot type design uh, it is not going to transition perfectly due to the width of the blocks uh, but we'll make it work pretty well along with the bed design that's going to be a little challenging because we don't have anything that is that can go half depth with blue or black so we're going to have to make a sacrifice and use dark oak wood for the bed surrounding and that's going to be the closest that we can have to emulate that bed um, the rest of it can be done with i uh, could see an opportunities for quartz a couple different lamps designs maybe some banners for the curtains um, there's plenty of things that we could do so let's get started uh, we want to start off with the gray wall naturally let's do the back wall first so i'm thinking this could be Let's take some gray. I'll tell you what, diorite would probably work relatively well in this, uh, along with maybe the polished andesite or andesite. Let's look at andesite and diorite one next to another. It looks as though diorite will be the best choice for possibly this back wall here, even though granite resembles the color a little bit more, this uh, andesite, but I don't think, I think the stone texture is a little bit too pronounced with that. Let's also take a look at possibly gray and go with maybe gray wool. Uh, we can go with gray stained clay and light gray clay. And let's see what these three look like in one next to another. So, hmm, it appears that we can probably do the sides can be light gray just like this. And I'm thinking that that back wall would possibly be best with the wool so let's go ahead and clear our inventory and we'll just take those two blocks to start this off all right very good all right so it looks like we're gonna have to go the bed will actually be two hole high if i'm not mistaken and it looks like there's about three of those so the room should go six up into the border uh so let's start off with that we'll go one two three four five six that'll be the height of the room and let's see in order to encompass a window like that we'll need two then four then five so each section is going to be five and it looks like this will be the high point right here this will be where the window goes so it looks like it's a little bit higher than the bed so that's probably actually it's probably going to have to go around there and we'll have the window three high and then a border on top the window will be too wide, so we'll go with another one right here because it's offset, and this will be the border. And that's going to be one section, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. And that looks like it would just about do. Now we have the middle section, which is possibly just as wide. For this, we'll definitely be using item frames and maybe dies to emulate that design. And it looks like we'll need space on either side. Um, so we'll need four, five, this will be six wide as well, and it'll be recessed by one. So two, three, four, five, six. This will be a relatively larger room to encompass all of the design elements, but it's definitely going to be, um, <laughs> it's going to be a good rendition of what we're looking at, uh, on screen there. So, okay. So there's the middle wall and it's going to look a lot fuller, I think, or a lot less big, or a lot smaller. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. Um when I'll put it all together. Okay, so here's the border for the next one. And then we have going to have a two wide design for the window here. And then it'll come down again. And how high did we go in the other one? I think we just came up to like this. And there we go. And we'll need one more right here. And unfortunately, the room that's going to be quite wide. It's like 15 wide. So maybe we can make it a little bit shorter and and fit well here. The bed is going to come out by one, two, three, four right here, and then we'll have a little bit of walk-in space for the rug, and we'll have to use our imagination for the rest of the room. So I'm pretty sure that'll be all right. Okay. So now let's see what can we use for these windows. It looks like we could do some some probably some glass panes here. So let's go with the white panes, white stained glass clay. 
white stained glass, I'm sorry. And let's put those inside here. Now today I'm using the uh, the Flows HD, the 128 pack. Uh, although I usually use Soritex for this, I just think that the colors uh, would match up a little bit better in this resource pack. That's why I'm using that today. Um, okay, so we have that. Let's see. It looks as though the next one up, we could cheat a little bit and use the... I'm thinking here. I think we might just go with one more wool up top like this and then we'll follow that up with the white like the white border that they have up there the baseboard so let's grab quartz because that's the only white half slab that we have and we'll just place it up top just to get that ready so we'll make sure that that looks all all right that it looks together and we'll just go ahead and fill this in as well all right, so it looks as though this would probably be, this is probably what we want here. Um, I'm thinking that we may even be able to move this by one. Let's try that. That shows a little bit of gray and this would make the window seem higher. Hmm, I think this might actually work, you guys. I might actually be able to do something a little bit different, okay. So we'll try that for now. And we might just have to shorten this whole thing up too because from the looks of it, it might be a little bit difficult. I'm definitely going to have to come up with the floor here to make it look uh, to make it look well, even by a half slab or whatnot. Let's try to position the bed right. So the bed, I'm gonna need to use dark oak, which we already discussed. And I can either do a full or a half for dark oak. And on top of that, it's going to have to be blue. Um, now, I'm going to use blue wool here, and I want to say that we won't be able to pull away from it with with this. So let's see. If we just did this, so this is going to be the bed, and the bed starts in about right where the middle of the window is at. So two right there, and then it's actually five wide. It's a large bed. Um, and then we're going to have this come around. Actually, it is five blocks wide, so the bed itself would only be three in the middle. Uh, let's see how this translates here. Uh, so we're ne gonna need to come up with blocks like this and we would need to do something like that to make the headboard right. And then we would need to come around just like this and the bed would have to be probably, I'm thinking three by three would look a little bit too square. So I'm thinking four, three by four. And let's finish that off with the half slabs here and see how that looks. Now. I think it looks a little bit too small in comparison to the size. Well, and it actually kind of fits. We might actually have to widen this up by one just to get the symmetry right. So let's go ahead and put that down. Even though it's not exact, it's going to look a little bit better due to the size of the build in general. Okay, so we can increase this and we can actually bring this down by one. And that looks, well, emulated correctly it would probably be like that and that looks like the bed itself okay so now we would have to do pillows and stuff like that we could worry about the bed details later later right now we're talking about uh distance so it looks as though we might have to go up one more right here for it to look like it's uh yeah i think we can arrange to do that with some snow and stuff like that and that looks like it's correct spacing okay let's get this wall section correct now how about some item frames and we'll use die and i think die is going to work best let's get rid of some of these items here and look at the dies menu now the dies they have some cool designs in this pack and it looks like we're just going to be going with white but the back of the item frames are actually white so let's change that up and just go with gray just so it stands out a little bit more and we'll maybe white will actually or light gray will actually work well too because white dye is actually bone meal so let's try that so we have a pattern of three here then we have a pattern of four then we have a pattern of three that's pretty much the design that we're looking at right so we can tilt these all sorts of different ways let's see if we put gray in there uh, that does tilt pretty good we'll use that as the point and then we'll tilt this one as the point too. Oh, <laughs> I went too far there. All right, and then we'll do this one as downward to the left, kind of like that. All right, then this one will be down right, 
and this one will be the other color just to stand out a little bit more and that'll be down left and then we have an upright just like so and then another oh I went too far another one this way now let's go back to this color up to the left then down to the left with a solid color and then down to the right with the light gray and that is awesome <laughs> I love that that's great okay so we have the little design put up that's good uh, the windows there that's great what's next to him okay let's let's sort out some furniture here so it looks as though we're going to need um, we're going to need quartz as these little tables here so let's figure out some quartz stairs and let's go ahead and use quartz slabs as well and I think we should pop probably be able to do something like this um, but I think I want that the opposite way here let's do it like that instead okay so that puts a little table there and we'll do the same thing right here on this side and that means we'll do well, let me set that just correct there we go and then like that all right and there's our tables that are in tables and I'll need to do a couple of lamps as well okay so there's a slant right here which is weird for this little desk and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to emulate that but I will try it kind of looks like the table is worked into uh, the desk itself so if we did if we brought how about this if we brought something like that maybe I can take this white and do that okay and let's turn this around instead we'll do it like this and we'll bring that up just like that and then we'll bring it across now I don't have any blue half slabs so I won't be able to do that portion of the desk like that but we'll just bring it across like that and it goes to the end of the room and it just comes down so that will be the desk height and this is going to be kind of funny because the desk height seems a little bit high <laughs> in terms of Minecraft but it is it is almost as high it's actually a higher than the bed so that's going to be a little bit weird it's close to it I think everything would look better if the floor was a little bit raised but again we wouldn't be able to treat achieve what we wanted with the bed without making the bed look too high so I believe we're just going to do something like this just to make it a little bit more minecraft friendly if you will just like so I think that's going to be better honestly and that's a portion of the table that connects and we can actually we can actually turn that just like that and if I'm not mistaken well I don't know which one I like most so I'm just going to do that for now and just keep it so that resembles what we have in the room so far okay so now we also have a little bit of wool or carpet I'll say to make the bed up and this looks like it's like a gray and a brown so we're gonna use or yeah we can probably use some of that and there's also some blue carpet mixed in there and some black carpet that's mixed in there so let's take all of that into consideration and it looks like we have maybe some blue almost all the way around it's gonna be hard to do this but I'll do something like it so we'll do black in the middle here and then we'll take the gray wool and is it that gray or should we go the other gray I think light gray yeah that's a little bit too bright I believe even though that's closer to the color it almost looks white so we'll go ahead and go with gray carpet here and it looks like it goes to the bed so yeah it'll be off center and that's probably going to be a good design for the carpet there okay it, it actually goes white around the black as well but unfortunately I can't do that because it would take up too much room uh, we're already huge into this room as it is okay so the room is starting to look really really large but it's okay now let's start with this wall here so it looks like I'm going to have maybe an area with some curtains and it actually slides behind a portion of the wall that is very very strange I've never seen that before but we're gonna we're gonna make it work so we'll take the rest of what we had here and we'll come up and we'll just start filling in right here and actually hmm is it going to be over that no I'm gonna need to come one more out it looks like so let's just come out one more and then we can start extending so this will probably be one two three 
and that does connect so that's right we'll do three and this is where the curtain is going to be um this is actually just going to be a wall with curtain on it the way it looks you know uh, and let's see how about banners now so let's take some banners this pack is kind of weird in the fact that it doesn't allow me to do a whole lot with banners from the get-go I have to actually customize them in the crafting bench so let's take that and let's take some lapis there we go lapis lazuli and we can just turn the banner blue we just have to do it a, f a few little things to it once here and once here and the banner will be blue there we go we have some blue curtains now and the blue curtains can go all along this wall and it looks as though we'll have to kind of will we be able to draw that here mm, that will serve as a problem it looks like we may need to actually hang them from the other side but we wouldn't be able to do that hmm Okay, I'll tell you what, let me figure this out guys. Alright you guys, I decided to increase the total room height by one so that I can pull this design off and I think I'm going to do it with stairs instead of the regular slabs. Because if you notice in the picture, there's like a little divot where the... There's actually, it's actually one full deep in white. There's an inner portion and an outer portion. And then the top will be light in the middle. So I think it'll work out best. In addition to that, the way that I had it before would, wouldn't allow us to do anything much with lamps without blocking that cool little thing that we had put together uh, with the, um, oh, let me get this right. There we go. With the designs in the item frame. So I think this will work better all in all. I've also took the liberty of messing with the bed a little bit and this is the design that I came up. It incorporates a few different colors which the bed pulls off and the best that Minecraft can really do with bed design. I think this works pretty darn well for it. Now the lamps are going to be something I thought about going with the armor stands and pushing pushing pistons down with the uh, with the glowstone in order to make the lamps a little bit better but uh, there's no color pants that really matches with the, the the lamp bases so I think anvils will actually probably work the best and I want to say that they'll probably work the best facing this way just so there's a little bit of distance between the headboard and the lamp post itself so there we go if I could shift click on that there we go and those are our two lamps now that matches pretty darn good if I do say so myself uh, I think it would be better if this was a little bit smaller um, even though it doesn't mock the design a little bit let's just try that we'll try dark oak stairs just to give it a little bevel and that way it'll be separate from the actual lamp and I think all in all that'll look better anyway it does show a little bit of design difference there so so far so good now we probably need to incorporate what the window is and that looks like it's like some white curtains there so let's get a regular banner and pull those down right on the side here just like these blue ones are facing even though it looks a little bit different I think I think we get the gist of it okay now we need to do the glass door and I think the glass door should be clear glass uh, or let's try black glass let's see how the black stained glass looks uh, with that uh, it looks as though that would probably be a little bit too dark for what we want so we'll go with the regular glass pane and where is it there it is it's almost invisible in this texture pack all right so we've gotten that out and it looks like we can just go across with that and how wide are we going to go with that there'll be one two and it's got to be at least as wide as what we have right here so far so that's three how about let's go four and we'll go five that's going to be past the bed and that's how it looks too actually it looks like it goes a little bit uh, further past that so let's put glass in here and we'll bring that all the way up right here and we'll continue with a little stair that goes across that kind of blocks and it looks like everything is recessed after that and that looks good I think I like that now what we can do at the top here to get that uh, it looks as though we have some light some white right above that I'm thinking that we should probably do white because the white is on the same level even though it's kind of recessed back there but there's no way we can really pull that off so let's see if we did clay 
white stained clay. The best way would be to have brought this out one layer back and have the curtain start from above. But honestly, I don't think it was necessary. This should probably do. So let's see what white stained clay would look like right here. I think that's off. I think we should just go ahead and go with the light gray like we were planning to do with the other wall. So let's go with the light gray. And we'll go with, what did we decide? Light gray stained clay. That's what we're going to go with. So instead of the white, that's what we're going to do. And that's going to be pretty much the entirety of this wall here, except for the portion that's behind the curtains. <laughs> All right. Even though I didn't really, I could have used that, that light gray color there too. I guess it wouldn't be too late to do that. Actually, let's, let's do that. It won't take me long. So I'll just punch these out. And we went with blue and white. We still have the banners, so shouldn't be bad and we'll do these three as well and those won't show so that's fine all right now we'll come back with these very good yeah this looks a little bit more kosher that's what i was hoping for okay and we'll do the blue banners again just like so so we'll start from the top and go down all the way then we'll do that one more time and then we'll go with the white because that's kind of what's next right there we go. All right, so we got the blue and the white. Everything looks good right there. Now we'll go with the rest of the window here and we'll have to make the room wrap around, I suppose. So let me go ahead and build these walls off camera. All right, you guys, I went ahead and framed out the window and I went ahead with the darker color, just like we had on this side for the opposite wall. And this is kind of where imagination takes place. I even did the little patio outside with the acacia wood planks and stuff. So actually all this is going to have to turn into the type of wood that we want for our floors. Now, I thought about this a little bit and I think the best way is just going to be to use jungle wood. Jungle wood is a little bit darker than oak in this pack and I think it looks great. And it's going to stand out a little bit and be different than the deck wood outside. Uh, unfortunately, it, it, it does kind of, it doesn't have a transition, but that's just the way we can't make it fall out just exactly on center or where the glass is. And uh, I'm gonna skip a few steps because we're just going for looks here. So I'm not gonna do anything where the carpet is or anything like that. So I'm not going to actually flesh the room out like I would in a survival build. Although I have been known to cut corners like that in survival as some of you may have seen from my Hermitcraft episodes. Uh, so this should be right up our alley here. Let's see, we'll go like that. And I admit, this room is a lot bigger than I would normally build. In the last Minecraft Indoors, one of the reasons that a lot of my builds were a little bit larger than normal is because uh, that I had to incorporate all of the, these these details. And the spacing actually is, is what kills me, you know, like... Uh, kind of like the way we had to go up one higher. Now this room is humongous in survival standards, but that's why we're playing in creative so that we can just try some new concepts, play around with some details and really get the builds um, decorated and, um, and emulating the builds that you see on the pictures that I show uh, for the inspiration. So uh, let's see here. We just have a few more to go. Sometimes I like to do a little bit of this on camera so I can kind of talk to you guys as I go and it seems like it works out fine. All right, there we go. Normally I would do a rug or something right here, but in the picture it doesn't really show that, so we'll just stay away from that. I need to do some sort of computer right here. So the, the best way that I've learned how to do this is just to take a couple of pressure plates. Uh, well, let's let's do weighted pressure plates because in this pack they're a little bit um, they're a little bit nicer. And we can do the weighted pressure. Ah, you know what? We can't do the weighted pressure plate here because we're on the half slab. And the item frame would actually be messed up like that too. So in order to really make this desk work, hmm, we might have to go up one higher, you guys. So let's, act, let's do that. Let's just do it. We'll do it like that. I think it'll probably be... Will it be best like this? No, I think it would be best like that. There we go. And we did go up one higher with the um, with the room itself, the room height. So there's still space in the windows and stuff. And I could just do a too tall chair right here. Speaking of which, I need a too tall chair. What kind of stairs can we use for this? I guess the dark oak wood stairs will work. Even though, yeah, because it's the same color as the bed, essentially, or the bed frame, I should say. So we could just do that and we'll go with dark oak. 
Uh, actually, we'll do a flip side stair. This will act like the, the kind of brackets at the bottom or whatever. We'll do it like that. There we go. That's the office chair and it should be to the side anyway. So let's do it like this. Do it like that and like that. And that is the office chair right there, right on the side of the desk. Very good. Now we just need to do the computer, which can be a weighted pressure plate. And we'll do a painting. And that will give us the monitor that we want. There is a cool painting that actually works well for monitors. It's a two by one and it looks kind of like static or whatever. That is not exactly what I was looking for. Finally, <laughs> that's the painting that we wanted. And right next to that, let's see, I should be able to put a button down uh, in this version to accept it and kind of like a mouse. Yeah, there we go. So mouse and keyboard, very good for this type of setup. And we need something right here to emulate like that computer case, which is an Apple. It's product placement, but you know, okay. <laughs> and what we'll do is we'll set, I don't know, we can't really do a vertical half slab or anything like that. Um, we could do, ah, you know what we could do? Let's do a wall, the cobblestone wall. And I think that will do it. It's gonna be kind of weird. Let's do it right here. Yep, that's close enough to a computer. <laughs> it looks kind of funny, but hey, <laughs> who are we kidding? All right, so last but not least, we have to do a little bit uh, with the decorations in this room. And I think what I'm gonna do is take dark oak wood for the furniture. Uh, let's do some stairs with dark oak. Oop, I just threw my stairs away and we'll also do some slabs and what we want to make is like a little chest of drawers I guess here so we'll do we'll actually do it kind of high and we'll do it like this and in here we'll do the stairs kind of like that um, which I, sh I guess I should have done him right side up like this there we go and we'll do the, the top like that all right, there's our little stair. There's our little chest of drawers, so to speak. Uh, we'll want to do another one right here or a smaller version of it. And we got to decide where we want the entrance to. I guess the entrance is going to be right here. Uh, this looks probably about right. It is going to be, we're going to need to come higher than that though. And we can do just like this and change this out to the wood. And that's going to be the entrance into our room. Uh, we could do a small table, kind of like here and here, and then put a couple of the slabs. Where did my slabs go? I thought I had some slabs here. You know, it's much higher than the disc, but it works. Um, and we'll do a small table, kind of like here instead. And what we should do actually is we should make it kind of like this. So this will be a different type of furniture than that and so on. Okay, so now we'll probably need some sort of corner feature here and maybe a couple of paintings. We can't have any windows on this side because that is going to be where uh, the actual um, the actual rest of the house is. And what we might do right here is, let's see, dark oak We'll take the dark oak door and we'll place it right here and we'll this will be this will be a closet. This ain't even going to be our entrance. This will be a small closet that works right there and that'll be our entrance. So let's grab a couple of paintings here and we'll also do a shelf uh, paintings. Oh, we already have that. Uh, let's do a dark oak wood shelf as well. We'll do two sets of shelves right here. We'll put one right here. And we'll put, let's see here, we might consider changing the direction here. No, that's good. I like it offset like that. So let's put a couple of books on this lower table. So we'll do that. A couple of books, just like so. And I, sh I almost think that there should be, I should do only one book right here and maybe something else. Let's just put two books for now. That's okay. And on top here, I want some flower pots. So we'll do flower pot and a couple of different types of flowers here. I'm, I'm going to go with white tulips for one 
and the other one I'm going to go with blue orchids. That just happens to be some of my favorite flowers here. And I'm going to do this symmetrical and it'll show a little bit of symmetry to the offset that the positioning is for now. So that's perfect. Okay. So now a couple of paintings um, throughout the room should be good. Let's see if I can get a two by one right here. Uh, that's the TV screen that we were going for for the computer monitor for so long and we got it twice. Okay, that's a good one right there. Uh, let's do another one right here. That'll work and maybe a two by one in the middle just right here. That's perfect. I think that is going to be great right there, y'all. Uh, is there any details that we missed in the room? Nope, I think we should just move on to the ceiling. So the ceiling is going to be relatively straightforward. It looks like we have a lighter color with some light in it. So let's go with, maybe we'll go with the stained clay, the regular hardened clay, I'm sorry. We'll go with the regular hardened clay and see how light that is. In Sortex, it would be perfect. Uh, in here, it looks like it's a little bit too dark. So I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna take glowstone and we're going to just surround this entire bit with it. It's going to be all glowstone. And what we'll do is, is that going to work? That looks like it's going to be a little bit too big for it. Maybe what we ought to do is just bring up the next level of quartz or another kind. Let's do clay. White stained clay ought to do really, really well for this application too. Yeah, and that's a different white. And that's what I was hoping for. So let's just fill this in and we'll decide what we're going to do with the little bit of light options that we have available to us. It's probably going to be glowstone uh, just because glowstone is, well, it's it's a flat, well, it's not really a flat texture, but the sea lanterns in this pack are quite, um, quite crazy. They kind of look like bug lamps. I could show you what they look like in just a minute for those of you that haven't caught my, um, my Corallus decorating series. Let's see here. I should be able to do this relatively quick. So far, I think the room's coming out really, really good, though. I like it a lot. Uh, the video is probably going to be a little bit long, but if those of you are hearing that by now, I guess y'all figuring that y'all just want to see the finished port. Uh, let's see. We got that. And we're going to have to figure out what center is here. Um, instead of doing... Instead of doing the small... Well, there's the small lights are in here. We could probably get away with... Um, I wish I just can just put light anywhere, but what I'll do is I'll extend this. So let's do slabs and I'll extend the portion that is currently there. And that way it'll still show that I have some border. You know what I mean? So let's do it by two, I guess. Like that. And then I'll actually be able to recess this a little bit. Is that going to be? No, it needs to be two all the way around. Thought I said, yeah, two. I'm sorry if it's a little dark as well. It'll be all bright soon. And that's two, 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 two. Okay, now we have actually have a little bit of spacing. If I could, if I did want to do that, this is two off of that as well. And I could do some lights in there. So now let's take the glowstone. I'll show you what the other lights look like as well. Let's take the sea lanterns and I'll be able to show you here. So these are the sea lanterns, <laughs> pretty obnoxious uh, for this type of lighting. It works in some applications, but for the most part, I'm not too keen on it. Okay, and you know what? We'll probably want to do this one more time to make it look uniform because I'm going to want like a center point and I don't want those lights. I want those all the lights to have a border. So this should be three right here. All right, this is three all the way around and it's centered in the room. Yes, it is. Okay, so now let's take the glowstone and poke a couple holes here. So we'll do glowstone here and let's see that is that is one inside of there. So actually, I don't think I like that. I think I would rather if the glowstone was here. So we'll do glowstone here and then we'll do it like that. There we go. And that's on the corner. Let's do one more on the corner and let's follow suit on this side. And again, I'm just trying to position these to where they look right and add a little bit of extra light and let's do it right here as well. And right here as well. And then is there a center point in here? There's 
Let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six in space. Nope, there's not. Uh, so we'll have to just do it like that. Uh, let's see here. It's gonna look kind of crazy because it is against that, but it shows enough, so that's fine. And I think it would have been better if we could have added a couple more lights, but they're so large, you know what I mean? So other than that, that's about all we can do for that section right there. We could add a little hanging light, I believe, but all in all, guys, I think the build is, is perfect. There could be a little bit more detail added to it here and there, but I'll leave that to your imaginations. I hope you really like the build, guys. I really enjoyed doing it for you. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll leave a link to the picture in the description for you guys if you all wanted an enlarged portion of it to check out. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off, and we'll see you next time. Bye.